Okay, today I'm going to show you how to do a manual update on your firmware using an old firmware tool that Xtool had on their website. I can no longer find where to download it, so I have it on my computer and I'm going to provide a link in the video description so that you can download it from my Google Drive. So what we're going to do is you're just going to go over here to your browser you're going to get that link and you're going to paste it in your browser. And it's going to take you to two files. Okay. And you're going to download all. Now there's two files here. There's one here. These are drivers for the board, the control board for your machine. This is not mandatory. Um, I think it helps my machine run smoother. And this is the firmware upgrade tool zip file. Um, they will download. They'll go into your downloads folder. My downloads folder is extremely full right now, so I just created a desktop folder called downloads that already has it in there, but you're going to want to go into your original downloads. But you're going to get there, and it's going to look like this. And what you're going to want to do is unzip these files. So you're going to right-click and extract all. It should bring it up to your downloads folder. You can do it on your downloads folder if you want to save it somewhere else like the desktop. Just go ahead and hit browse and navigate to that location. I am going to leave it right here in the downloads folder. And it extracted it. And you'll see that folder there. We're going to do the same thing in here with this firmware upgrade tool. We're going to do extract all, right click, extract all. Same process. Okay, you want to make sure that your machine is turned on and your USB is plugged up. Okay, first thing I want to do is I want to install this these drivers if you already have not. For some reason, my screen recorder won't record through this, but you'll get this pop up and you're going to want to click yes. From here, you're going to click install. You should get a pop-up telling you that it's successful. You're going to click OK. If you get a failure, just check to make sure that the power is on and that the machine USB is plugged up properly. You're going to close that out and then we're going to move on to the other firmware tool. So we're going to open our other firmware upgrade tool folder. It's in a, another subdirectory. And you're going to look for this exe file. You're going to open the exe file. It's the download tool. And from here, you're going to, and when this window populates, you're going to select ESP32, leave it on develop, click OK. This new dialog bo box pops up and there's going to be three directory navigations here. This top one, which they may already be filled out, but they may have my information, so you'll probably need to reset them. But you're going to click this here, and you're going to navigate to wherever it is that you saved your file. So you're going to navigate to your downloads folder here, into the, that folder, and you're going to go down. The first one you're going to select is the bin folder. Now the one that we're using is date modified 8-11-22 on my computer. You might have today's date since you downloaded. I'm not sure about that. Um, here we've got B40, 30, 006, 01, B5, and then it's got a date code of uh, 2022, 0708, July 8, 2022. So download or navigate to this file here. The second one, you're going to want to navigate same way. You're going to have to go back through to the downloads folder, wherever you unzip the file at, and you're going to want to select the bootloader for the second one. And in the third one, you're going to want to select the partitions bin. Of course, you'll have to navigate back to the same file folder. So you want Firmware in the first one, bootloader, bootloader in the second one, and partitions in the third. 
you're going to make sure it's 40 dio select your com even if there's one populated go ahead and click this down arrow and select whatever populates there and you want to select the lowest right here okay don't confuse this one with this one that one's got an extra zero so make sure you get the smaller one and you're just going to click start it's going to run in the background it'll take a minute or so if you run into an error here check to make sure that your firmware tool switch on the motherboard is in the position furthest away from the cords. So if your cords are on your right, you're looking down at the tool, you want to push that little switch to your left. Once it finishes, you're going to make sure you switch that back to the right so that it holds the firmware. If you're running into errors with that, reach out to Xtool. Um, they have had in the past faulty motherboards with those switches that weren't working properly. I don't know if that's something that has occurred in recent machines, but in the first machines it did. But once it says finish, you're just going to close everything out and you should be good to go. Test your firmware out using your light burn, which is what I use, or your X tool uh, laser box. Test it out. If you're still having issues, comment below. Let me know what you're running through. Reach out to me on the Facebook page. Click the LinkedIn bio, etc. Get a hold of me um, and we'll try to work it out from there. But thank you so much for your time and don't forget to subscribe.